All right, guys, so we, in the last video, looked at how to write uh, an individual source analysis paragraph where you give a brief synopsis of what's going on in it, uh, and then you uh, link it to broader understandings of social studies. You pull in multiple perspectives, who would agree, who would disagree. You identify relevant ideologies, and then you link it to liberalism. So you're gonna do that three times in a three source analysis. Weird, right? Uh, and then after that, guys, you have to do a fourth paragraph. That fourth paragraph is the money of the three source analysis, right? Uh, it is the important part of the three source analysis. It involves the high level skill of synthesis, where you have to take three sources that seem to perhaps not link together and come up with uh, a way in which all three sources are linked together. So on the screen, uh, on the left, we have here a quote from Milton Friedman. Uh, and let's just go through the quote really quickly. Um, so in 1962, Milton Friedman said, the view has been gaining widespread acceptance that corporate officials have a social responsibility, in quotes, that goes beyond serving the interests of their stockholders. This view shows a fundamental misconception of the character and nature of a free market economy. In such an economy, there is one and only one social responsibility of business to use its resources and engage in activities designed to increase in profit so long as it stays within the rules of the game, which is to say, engages in open and free competition without deception or fraud. So Freeman guys is at, or Friedman sorry is advocating for the free market economy. He is pro capitalism. He believes in laissez faire insofar as that businesses are operating inside the confines of the law. Now, the second source, just having a look at it here, uh, it says our natural environment is the source of our wealth and our health. Canada's forests, water, soil, and energy resources fuel our economy. However, if we treat our environment like a business in liquidation, those resources and our economy will suffer. The lack of federal regulation, monitoring, and action has made Canada one of the world's biggest and most tragic offenders against the environment, we rank amongst the world's worst for wasteful use of natural resources. Our soil, air, and waters are dumping grounds for toxic chemicals. Uh, through inadequate environmental protection, we risk leaving our children the deplorable legacy of a debilitated and degraded environment. How can we be so thoughtless, says the Green Party of Canada. Now look. There's some footnotes at the bottom of the page for source one and source two. Notice it says Friedman Milton from a publication called Capitalism and Freedom, right? That tells us something about what Friedman is advocating for. And then the second source, right, which is more of a leftist, uh, socialist, modern, liberal, environmentalist source, which would be opposed to capitalism, uh, would be... Um, obviously advocating for more socialist controls. Now it says, this is from the Green Party of Canada, part three, preserving and restoring the environment in Vision Green. And of course, the Green Party of Canada looks to protect our environment. Uh, so that's the second source. And then we have the third source, right? Then we have the third source. The third source, we've already seen this source because I have done one of the paragraphs about this particular source. When I showed you how to write an actual source analysis paragraph, we looked at this very source. Uh, and I really don't need to explain it. It is uh, against uh, unregulated laissez-faire capitalism. It looks at uh, greed uh, and uh, it talks about the, or it implies the necessity of regulation within the economy, more of a leftist, socialist, modern, liberal ideal. Um, so with that being said, guys, your job now is to take these three sources and these all come from the same diploma exam and 
link them together, right? Your job is to find a link amongst all three of them. And at first glance, it seems like they are not easy to link together because source number one is in opposition to source number two and source number three right? Source one is pro-capitalism, whereas source two and three are both um, advocating for regulation. They're more leftist in their orientation, right? They're more modern, liberal, more socialist in what they're advocating for. So when that's the case, what do we do? Well, what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to have to think about, and typically what I would do in a situation like this is use a to what extent uh, statement and then uh, I'll just we'll get the link between these particular uh, sources down and then we'll formulate our um, examination of how these sources link to that particular um, identified um, commonality between the sources and we will kind of flesh it out a little bit. So again, guys, this isn't an essay, right? There's no intro. There's no conclusion for source one. It's just in source one. And then you do it for source two. It's in source two. And then you do it. Same thing for source three. Now for the fourth paragraph, really the way I would start it is I would have a statement such as this uh, among the three sources oops, there we go, presented the link that can be seen is to what extent does the capitalist um, economic system lead to exploitation? There we go. So the link that I've come up here, guys, is to what extent does the capitalist economic system lead to exploitation? All right. And I'm just going to uh, italicize that. Uh, and guys, now that I've identified that link, the focus of when I describe source one, source two and source three in this paragraph, I need to make sure I am talking about the topic of my link. And the topic of that link is capitalism and the exploitation seen in it. Okay. Um, so uh, with that being said, guys, uh, let's start to formulate this. So within uh, source one, uh, we see Friedman oops, discussing how capitalist businesses do not have a debt to society or its people. Rather, their goal is to make profit. However, and here's where I'm going to pull in that link to exploitation, as we have seen within the capitalist, if I could spell, economic system where we see laissez-faire and a lack of regulation, we often see human beings being exploited. See how I am linking it to um, the identified uh, commonality, right? That link between them. Now, let's discuss this exploitation in a little bit more detail. Um, this exploitation can be seen uh, both in the developed world where we see um, millions of people living pay check. to paycheck and also in the developing world doesn't like the word check because that is a Canadian way of spelling it. oops there we go fix that 
uh, and in the developing world. Um, so we're talking about like the poor nations of the world where um, outsourcing um, of jobs occurs because businesses want to keep profits high. This is done because in the developing world, um, labor standards are lax at best or non-existent at worst. Friedman <laughs> Friendman Friedman believes that there is no social responsibility when it comes to business other than to simply make profit period okay so guys um if you look at right this right here is my justification or my substantiation of my link between the three sources and then my description of it relative to source number one right so i'm focused on exploitation right exploited um and then the idea of how uh, because of the nature of capitalism where it wants to keep profits as high as possible we see the phenomenon of outsourcing uh, and how they do it because they're able to exploit people where the government really doesn't care about how the people are being treated all right now let's move on to source number two um we see the theme Oops. of exploitation within source should capitalize it two as the Green Party of Canada is being critical of capitalism for the excessive and we'll say thoughtless exploitation of our environment. fix that. Okay. So again, I'm now talking about how exploitation relates to the second source. I'm on target all the time, right? Um, environmentalist and parties that have an environmental platform such as the Green Party are critical of the system of capitalism because they believe that the constant drive for profit is, we'll say, sowing the seeds of our own destruction if we damage the we'll say if we exploit our air our water and our other natural resources what is left for life on this planet to thrive off of? And that's a question. So we're going to put a question mark. I'm going to fix the word environmentalist. There we go. Now, again, uh, I'm just going to make this bigger for a sec here. I'm going to go to home. I'm going to double space it just to see how it actually looks because I hate when stuff is single spaced. Uh, and then we will pull this back over here. Um, okay, 
So the solution to this as per the green party and other leftists would be to impose strict environmental there we go strict environmental regulations that ensure business does not plunder and exploit the environment lastly we have source three in source three we see the theme of exploitation uh, as it is the consumer within society we'll say instead of society within our carbon based economy where we are ever so reliant on fossil fuels oops to power our cars trucks and homes because of this reliance we the consumer are at the are able to be exploited by I'm gonna put in quote big oil ha 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 uh, exploited by big oil as we have but no choice to but no choice to keep filling our vehicles and heating our homes while this exploitation happens big oil continues to reap the rewards of greed furthering the environmental damage mentioned by source 2 in the green parties platform all right uh, now at this point guys uh, if you want to um, you can get into uh, and compare and contrast source one and two uh, source one and three and source two and three but uh, this is look I have a spelling mistake there uh, this is a fairly in-depth you know I'm bordering a page now right double spaced um, the really the thing I wanted you to notice here is that I am like I identified my topic of exploitation right which is right here uh, and everything that I was focused on when I spoke about source one right uh, and then when I talked about and I spoke about source two and then when I discuss source three is focused on the idea of exploitation right and that's how um, you develop a well-written three source analysis paragraph so again sorry about the long video but I don't want you guys to be frustrated or not knowing what the heck to do um, so I would rather have it be uh, expressive whereas you can ignore it uh, but I, I just want to make sure that we do a good job with this so um, I will throw this exemplar up on our canvas uh, site um, for you to have a look at if you want I mean you might see something different from the sources right I saw exploitation maybe you see you know uh, 
to what extent should we embrace socialism? And source one would be like, heck no. Source two would be like, heck yes. And source three would be like, heck yes. You know what I mean? Um, there's more than one link between these sources, which are applicable. The key to that fourth paragraph is you identify it and then you explain it. You have to convince me that the link that you see amongst these three sources is a valid link. If you can do that in some depth and have me be like, oh yeah, I can totally see that. You will do just fine. And if you don't, right, uh, I can't really help you at this point, right? This This is a uh, a, a written skill that you have to develop. So um, that's it with uh, me here, folks. And take it easy. Peace. Love you guys. And good luck with the written. <laughs>